Tonight, Iowa native Heidi Ernst is recovering after nearly losing her life from a shark attack in the Bahamas. The 73-year-old airlifted to a Miami hospital had injuries so severe her leg was amputated. I didn't even see him approach me. He came from below and it was just like a truck hit me. And then it was just like a scene out of a horror movie. Ernst, an experienced scuba diver, had just finished her dive in Grand Bahama last week and was climbing up the boat ladder. The shark attacked and grabbed me by the leg. Heidi then striking the shark in an effort to get it to open its jaw and crediting her friend for his quick thinking. I could have easily bled to death had it not been for my friend who put the tourniquet on my leg. Closer to home, last month, 15-year-old Maggie Drozdowski bitten by what is believed to be a shark while surfing in Stone Harbor, New Jersey, receiving six stitches in her foot and leg. On the opposite coast, a new study by Shark Lab at Cal State University Long Beach finding great white sharks are more common off the California coast than previously thought. Shark attacks in general are extremely unusual. The fact that they're seeing more white sharks out there over the last couple of decades means that the conservation and, and management is working. The fact that those sharks are not biting people, I think, is, is, is excellent. People shouldn't be afraid of them. Going back to Heidi, she says she will continue diving and has even researched fins for amputees. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, New York. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.